So we're back here at Hardcore Racing. You can see Roland's working away here on our Husqvarna TC125 2019, the dirt bike rider long-term test bike. We're back again trying to gain some, gain some advantages on power and performance. So today, what we're doing, we've got the bike on the dyno, we've got some HCS pipes, we're gonna fit them, I'm gonna see what um, gains we get from that in uh, black and white on the screen there. So yeah, we're about to get started. I'm gonna let Roland crack on fitting this uh, exhaust and we'll get going. There's a, a pipe um, manufactured uh, out in Holland, as for anybody in the UK and European scene know. Um, there's two factors in Holland. One, it's very much a sand track um, environment. Um, so uh, horsepower is critically important. But the other thing is that's critically important is that the pipe doesn't create too much heat. So uh, it's always the compromise, you know, you can't be overheating engines because two things, one, you get engine damage. The other thing is you lose torque. So you don't want either of those things to happen. So it's important that you get your pipe right from a power to um, heat and reliability situation. So that's why we stick with HGS because we get a very, very reliable exhaust system out of it with good performance. So they're well built, they perform well, and uh, once you set the jetting correctly, we tend to have very reliable engines as well. Yeah, an exhaust system, um, they can be an acquired taste because as with riders, exhaust manufacturers will have their own idea on where performance needs to be from an engine and what they gain and so forth. So again, it's very personal to rider, it's very personal to uh, tuner. The, uh, it's one of the first things because one is aesthetically pleasing, everybody likes to see a nice aftermarket exhaust system on. Um, it's a bolt-on tune, um, there's no work required internally on the engine. It's something that you can dip back to quite well if you want to change back to the standard pipe for different tracks. So it's, it's an often a first go-to place because generally if the, tune, the pipe manufacturer's done a good job, then uh, yeah, it's an easy game, it's a bolt-on. Well, the So there we go, We've um, Roland's fit the pipe, he's given it some beans on the dyno and we've got the results are in. Just talk us through what we're seeing here on the computer, on the graph. Okay, so on the, on the graph here we can see that we've uh, got a much wider peak horsepower area. So uh, when you look to coming down sub 10 horsepower from your peak figure, we are much wider. So overall this bike will be more flexible and more rideable on circuit. Um, there is very close to two horsepower um, difference gain in the mid top area of when you fit the HDS pipe over the standard exhaust. Do you want to just explain that what we're looking at here, the blue line standard, right? Yeah, so you've got the blue line, which is a stock line, a little bit lighter under here, maybe it just needs a little bit more in the jetting on the needle, you know, just uh, go up a little bit there. But basically through here, you can see as a sand pipe, sand riders tend to run at higher RPM. And as a sand pipe, that's, well, it's doing exactly what, uh, what you'd want as a sand rider. Um, from your exhaust system. So uh, big advantage down the start straight every time you shift. If you're shifting here, you're coming back into more power all the time. This is the area you're going to be working in once you've come out the gate. So uh, a good two horsepower gain in every gear, every straight, every start straight for the rest of the year with the HGS exhaust. Can't be wrong. So like, we've got this big uh, increase in performance here. What kind of, what is this set going to set you back with the the whole HS exhaust system. So HS exhaust pipe is going to cost you um, just under three hundred and fifty pounds, including VAT. Um, you know. Would you would you say in your in your opinion, well worth the money? The, yeah, I think that, it that is. Yeah, there? yeah, I think uh, you know, KTM and Husqvarna are not stupid. You know, they've been making this engine for a number of years. They've been making exhaust system expansion chambers for 35, 40 years. They know what they're doing. So for HGS, year in, year out, to bring out an exhaust pipe that is better than the standard one, bearing in mind the manufacturer can buy a HGS just like anybody else can. They can copy it, 
for HGS to keep ahead of the game as he is doing. Again this year, proving he can make a better pipe than standard, give proper value for money within his exhaust systems. You can't, you know, fair play to him. A good company, done a good job. Yeah. So the next step is to take this, this girl out on the track and see see what performance we we actually feel on the track. We've seen the black and white um, proof in the pudding there. We'll just see what it, the, the on track performance is next. So that's another episode of our workshop series done with the HS exhaust pipe. Um, so thanks to Roland for having us down and helping us out here. But this is an experimental series, so let us know in the comments what you want to see next, what you want to see us test, and we'll try and make it happen. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later. So we're here at Hardcore Racing with the 2019 TC125 from Husqvarna. This is the, the Dirt Bike Rider Magazine long-term test bike. And what we're doing here today, we're just trying to um, get, get an extra boost of power and performance from the 125 here, which is already a great bike, but we're just trying to get find that little bit more so we can go out track and we can be uh, as competitive as possible against all the 254 strokes and the, the one, KGM 150s and things like that. So we're just trying to get a little bit boost in power and performance and we've got a couple of little tips and tricks in order to do that. So Roland's about somewhere, we're gonna get cracking soon on the dyno to get some results and see how we can improve the performance of this bike here.